Welcome back to this new video of TechPress. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with dropshipped.io. So, if you wanted to get started, of course, with dropshipped.io, you have the link to double the description to get started totally for free. And I'm going to be showing you just a quick tip how we can use dropshipped.io. So, first of all, what I need to do, of course, is to understand the dropship. So this is an all-in-one dropshipping tool that helps you find profitable products, track competitors, and analyze and scale data. So it's designed for beginners and advanced sellers who wanted to make data-driven decisions. So first of all, let's sign up and let's get started. I'm going to click into the option that says try for free. This should be sending us directly into the application of the dropshipping sign it up. I'm going to sign up with my Google account to make this process much faster. And go for continue and my basic information should be loaded directly into the application now if you want to access to all the features consider a premium plan because we do have a plan to start up for the uh seven day free trial so we can choose whether that will be like a basic uh account we can go for a trial account or we can go from a premium account in this case i'm going to try it out with a basic account and start an actual free trial now to activate the free trial, we need to add a payment element here. So I'm going to be choosing my payment of Google and go for continue and make the payment. Once you are signed in, you will land on the dashboard. So one of the most popular features of the dropship is the product databases. And here's how we can actually use it. So here, for example, we have the ad library where we can explore some databases of the Shopify Facebook ads. We have the ad spot. We can search to Facebook ads. We have the product database where you can do product research. We have the sales tracker where you can check out the store product sales. We have the competitor research to checking out some product competitor research of a specific uh, competitor you want to try them out. There's the portfolio where we can check out winning products every week in the Monday. The Dropship University where you can just learn more about Dropship and how we can actually get started we just click here into ad library so you can check out winning shopify products based on some ad spend. so i'm gonna go for ok and we can see this here are the products that basically are the most uh shopped into the latest uh days i'm gonna go here for the upper side it says filters and what i'd love to do in order to find out the best product so far is by choosing the creative type so we have for example the ad spend the ad spend amount the sales and basically that would be actually it so for example here into the country let's try it out uh here i'm gonna look out for united states only so i'm gonna go all my way down and these are the countries that are only available uh so far if you wanted to you can enable all and choose for example here the language i'm gonna just go for english and searched once again now it's going to be updated so i'm going to look out for one product that are more likely to be appealed into my my site for example it will be this one or oh, there will be this one as well so basically when you check them out here we can enter a keyword or a niche for example smart gadgets or to look out for something else let's go for the product database now in the product database you can see that we have this for example product that has the price the monthly sales the monthly revenue the store info and product details we can filter them if you want to for example we can change from the price we can go from the monthly sales monthly revenue store products variance and much more so let's check for example this is smart backup for hockey i go for this the store product and you can see that here is the actual product that's going to be sold so far so as you can see this is how it actually looks this is the description related products and that will be actually it so as you can see this is an actual shopify uh website which is really easily and of course what i need to do of course is to look out for just one product that looks really well so as you can see here's the link of the drop shipping this is the actual price and this guys have made uh 24 monthly sales and the monthly revenue is this for example and it actually looks really well so we can do much more than this right we can look out for something else for example the smart doorbell camera and i click here and here is the smart 
camera, this is the link of the product, the priced, the monthly sales, and the monthly revenue, which I think is insanely, insanely great. So I'm gonna go for connect the AutoDS. And here, what I need to do is just to make sure the AutoDS has not been linked to my account, so I can make sure that this product has not been linked to here. So I can look out for the Smart Goldberg camera that appears here into AliExpress. And I can just click in them, and we can see that here is the smart doll that it actually appears here. Now, this page, for example, is not uh, working so far, but as you can see here is the website. And this is an actual website that works with drop shipping suppliers. So we can do something like it. So, so next thing is the computer analysis. So if you wanted to see who's working for your computers, we can go for the computer researched and we can look out for example from this echob.com i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste it here let's go for search i'm going to delete this and just type triple w if the website couldn't find it you can look out for more data availability here in my case for example here we have the android thermostat application here's the echo b smart thermostat a, B, and much more. So this is how it actually works. You can see that my computers have product creation date, store creation date, the prototype, and the physical of them. We can analyze sales and profit margins. Using the dropshipping gives you insight for the estimate sales. Or check out the portfolio where you can check out more collections of all the supplies that you have just checked so far. And lastly, I'm gonna choose to check out the ad spot or the product databases. The product databases, we should just see, we can search for million of products and see their revenue. So we can change it from monthly revenue. We can change it from estimate delivery dates or even to the actual through the price. So lastly, when you find a winning product, we can look out for this product directly here into AliExpress. So you can link this product directly into your website. And basically that's how we can actually get started to earn uh, more through revenues. So that's how you can actually use dropship and to grow your dropship business. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more great tools for how you can use dropship.io. Thank you once again for watching the video and hopefully, you can also see you next time.